So we all know that Funimation is doing their own broadcast dubs, their double talk live block where they have dubs of current animes already currently premiering in Japan, currently airing, and they do dubs on it. So that's early dub watchers and stuff. But this is going to be my video explaining why it's a good thing that broadcast dubs are happening. One, Funimation is the biggest company out there. They're the biggest an anime company out there. They're the biggest anime distributor company out there. It's like, it's popular. their popularity is very huge. They're an independent corporation. They're a huge company. And if a company like this can do broadcast dubs, that would just mean that other companies will probably follow suit and do the same thing. And that would mean more dubs and people who love dubs. Well, you're definitely getting more dubs to watch. And if you don't love dubs, it's still a good thing because that just means anime will just become more popular in the U.S. And that means you'll get... You'll get more access to anime if you live in the U.S. Another thing that... Number two of why it's so... A good thing. A broadcast dubs. You're getting dubs earlier for crying out loud. Be back in the day, it was not so long ago... When we had dubs that took three years... Until we had it released on Blu-ray. You all remember... Dragon Ball Z, what did that take? Like, what, one, two years? Three? Some animes take three years. Some animes never get dubbed. So the fact that Funimation is doing this for the anime community will only make more strides because the fact that we have dubs, we get them earlier. So now you get to release them earlier. And it won't take two bazillion years until you see a dub of Naruto. And Funimation might even catch up on One Piece. Because they are drastically behind. It's depressing, man. It really is. Three things. Number three. Why is it so good that Funimation is doing broadcast dubs? It will just make the anime community popular. I know that I've been saying this for my reasons for so long. But anime is not that or is not that popular already in America. But the fact that it needs to be, thanks to Toonami back in the day, it is becoming popular. So you can enjoy anime that you never were able to enjoy before in dubbed format. Meaning... People like random, maybe your dad, maybe your mom, maybe your friend who constantly shits on anime. You can watch it all in dub. They can watch it in dub. Now anime will become even more popular in America because dubbing is English dub. And what is English? American language. So it's a perfect idea to have Dub, broadcast dubs because it would just make it easier to watch dubs and and that means anime will become more popular in America because of the fact that we're getting dubs faster but that's all my three reasons for why it's so awesome that we're getting broadcast dubs if you don't know we have every Wednesday we have we have Assassination Classroom, Tokyo Ghoul, and Death Parade in dub. Right now, it's the just a just last just a couple Wednesday just a couple days ago on Wednesday, it was they had um the episode two of the Assassination Classroom, Death Parade, and Tokyo Ghoul Route A. Now, to answer your question, why is why are they dubbing Route A instead of Tokyo Ghoul Season One? No, they here's they are dubbing Tokyo Ghoul Season 1. But, but, they're doing both at the same time, actually. But, because Route A is the one that is currently premiering in Japan, that's the one they're going to broadcast and show on their channel. However, you can still 
but that doesn't you can yeah however Tokyo Ghoul season 1 is still going to get a dub so don't worry about it and you can if you have a Funimation all access pass pass you can watch it on their channel for free which is not really free but you, you can get if you pay just a couple bucks you can have all access to everything Funimation so yeah but that's all I have for this video. Thanks everyone. And if you enjoy this video, you can drop me a like and leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know what other videos you want me to make. And if you have any suggestions for how to make my video better, please do so as well. And if you haven't subscribed as well, if you could subscribe, that would be amazing. I'm Kevin Ambrose. Have a good one and I'll talk to you guys later.